Hey guys, it's Melody from House of Haha. Ha. Welcome to another campground review. We are in almost central Iowa, just about less than 20 miles west of Ames along the 30, and this is Ledges State Park. Um, we're here at Site 75, you can see. Aaron is in the shower right now, which is one thing about this campground. There it is, it has showers and flush toilets, and you can see it's got water, it's got trash, it has a recycling for bottles and cans there, and they have a bigger center for it uh, in another part of the park. You can see some of the other sites. These are the tent sites. They are $11 a night. They have electric sites for $16 and full hookup sites for uh, $19, I believe. They Each type, I believe, has one handicap one. I'll, let's go see ours. And one thing about the prices, I think they're about to do some construction on the scenic road through the actual park starting in October. So the prices for camping is going down $5 for every single level. So soon this site will be $6 for a night. So we're here a little bit early. There's our car. Grimble's in there hanging out. It is really humid here. We're here in, um, it's the 20th of September today. All the sites have these double level fire pits. They've got little tables and unlike the <laughs> Prairie Rose State Park we were at last night, these are really nice and level. A few of them that we drove past have tent pads, so if you are in need of a tent pad, if it's raining and you need some drainage, they have those too. So we hear that there is a really beautiful scenic drive through this park, but it's subject to flooding from the Des Moines River every year and some damage has been done to the roads. So it's not open right now. You can hike it, but you can't drive it. It's not safe, but I think they're about to try to fix that so people can come through here. It's called Ledges Park because it has a sandstone canyon running through here with um, I think it's said extruding concretions, which basically means some cool rock formations. We were hoping to get to see them, but since the roads are closed, we're probably not going to. It's a little too hot, or it's not really that hot, it's just really freaking humid here. It's been between 75 and 85% humidity the whole time. And there's a ton of mosquitoes in the evenings. <laughs> so... We set up our tent last night. We've already got it all broken down and everything, but we set it up so we could unload inside the tent and not be eaten alive. So there also have bees, which will not seem to leave me alone. But overall, especially if you know you're coming in here after October this year and getting electricity for eleven dollars a site, this is a really good place. And I mean, f free showers. It wasn't even a pull chain. You could just push a button, and the water felt really nice. <laughs> the toilets are clean. There's some spider webs in there and you can tell that it's an old building. But other than that, it's just, it's really nice. So definitely I've heard that this is one of the most popular state parks in Iowa and you can see why. So if you're in this area and you need a place to stay for the night, I would definitely recommend it. The water tastes, the water doesn't really taste at all, which is nice. <laughs> and um, you can see they've got places to sit. They've got an amphitheater amphitheater where you first come in the park off the 30 or I think it's uh, like a county road 27 to actually get in here or they recommend if you've got a camper or a trailer you take the 17 so there's signs up to tell you that so I don't know how many sites I would say at least well I mean there's at least 80 because we're in 75, 76, and there's some that go around there. I think the first sites were the full hookup sites. They were kind of closer together. These tent sites have a little bit more privacy with these trees. And um, that's about really all I can think. Oh, well, I will say, like I said, it's close to Ames. It's only about eight minutes to a Walmart from here and gas stations. So if you needed to run out and get something you forgot, that's definitely a possibility. So check it out if you're in the area and let us know what you think. In the meantime, go to houseofhaha.com, pick up some t-shirts that Aaron and I made. Also check out haveareasonableday.com and become part of our journey. For only a dollar a month, you can become a part of this adventure that we're on. 
and from there up you can get original art from us in the mail every month you can get souvenirs you can get postcards it's a really cool program everybody keeps telling us they're having a really fun time participating and becoming honorary nomads so we hope you'll you know be, come on come along with us in spirit and it should be fun hope to see you soon bye thanks for watching our video Make sure you subscribe to our channel for updates we put every week so you can follow our adventure around the country and get more information about a couple camping across America. Go to houseofhaha.com to help support our channel, buy some original art and t-shirts, and go to haveareasonalday.com where you can find out how you can become part of the book we're writing about the adventure. Don't forget to give us a like.